First Coast TV, and we find ourselves with Lee Weaver. He's a well-known playwright here in St. Augustine. And uh, Lee, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I've lived in St. Augustine full-time since 2001, and during those 14 years, I've uh, uh, been writing and performing my own works. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I'm pleased to say that I have a couple of plays coming up that maybe I could speak to you about. Okay, you have one of the plays I know is playing during the Romanza Festival. Yes, yes, the Romanza Festival. That's a, I, I really, I would, I would like to say just a word about Albert Silas, who is the chairperson of that event. Uh, he may have a co-chair, and it's uh, unfortunate I don't have that name in front of me, but he's done a wonderful job. And the St. Augustine Romanza Festival of the Arts mm -hmm. is going to be a remarkable uh, happening this year from May 8th through the 17th. I am uh, I am presenting at the Pioneer Barn Theater which is located at the Old Florida Museum which is located at the eastern terminus of Route 16. Everyone knows where the cannons protrude out of the faux fort wall there. There is a bona fide theater in there that is a wonderful place to present and to, to see. Uh, in that place, I'm going to be reprising my play that is called The Box. In it, I play a man by the name of Jack, who is a Vietnam War veteran who is homeless. He lives in a box. He's Jack in the Box, and he has PTSD. And the uh, full-length drama uh, has Jack, who is a raconteur and a bit of a theologian and a storyteller, a fighter, a lover, a survivor, uh, saying what he's been up to since his discharge from the army in the Vietnam era. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and your other play, I think, plays in June, am I correct? That's correct. It's called The Witness, and that has not yet been seen. The box that i just been uh, speaking of, that's, that's been made into a movie. I, I want to go back and just mention that. Okay. An acquaintance, uh, now an acquaintance, he was new to me at the time, who had an association with Sundance arranged for it to be a movie. Wow. And so, so now it's a full-length movie, and... Uh, we have it for sale. It's out in Utah, I believe, right now, um, being condensed, really, is what they have to do. The play opening in June is called The Witness. And this is about, um, I play a self-confessed former racist who was in the midst of all of the turmoil in the 60s as a young man. And um, he tells the stories of all that took place. It's a love story. And uh, it's, it's the work, I think, right now closest to my heart. We're, we're working on it. And it will be shown initially the first two weekends in June. It's going to be in at least four different locations. We're going to have it sort of a movable feast. It has very little props. I'll just be in a studio being interviewed so we can take it opening first at Temple Bet Yam on uh, Wildwood and then we're going to be at St. Cyprian's Episcopal Church in Lincolnville. We're going to be doing one production at, um, at the Pioneer Barn Theater and I believe we're going to be at the Corazon too and at Dokes Coffee and Wine. All right. So it's going to be a busy two weekends as he, he tells his part all of the things that he did as a racist and how he has uh, how he has found uh, redemption. Goodness, what other plays have you written? I've seen some things on your wall. Yes. Well, uh, I have ten different shows that I uh, present uh, around, uh, it sounds too uh, too boastful to say, around the country, but that's a, that's a fact. Uh, I, I have three biblical characters that I do. I do a a one-hour portrayal of Judas, another of Joseph, the husband of Mary, and another of Peter, the big fisherman. Interesting. And then about five years ago, I wrote Piercing the Darkness, which uh, did very well here in town. It's really just for the St. Augustine audience. It's uh, the story of Florida from 1513, when Ponce de Leon 
came to the coast uh, until the present day. And it is told by three different characters, all of whom I portray. Captain Bob, who's kind of an irascible old fella, you know, with a beard and suspenders. And then there's Captain Bax, who is a uh, U.S. Coast Guard captain. And then there is a tour guide at the lighthouse. And these three lighthouse keepers tell the story of uh, Florida as seen from their vantage point, not only literally from above, but from their working in the community over those 500 years. Oh. And then, let me see, I've got another show. I have a stand-up comedy that I've only uh, done four or five times. I did it in New York last year. And um, uh, I don't believe I spoke of the secret. The secret, did I, did I mention that? That is a, a story of religious intolerance in which I portray uh, Jose, who is a, a Spanish inquisitional attorney uh, in the 16th century, whose job is to uh, hunt out Jews and Muslims and bad Catholics and report them to the authorities for their just rewards. Uh, Jose journeys with Menendez in uh, 1565, and he is horrified to find that his sister has married a Jew. Wow. And the Jew is living in his house, and they've had a child in my house. <laughs> and, and the first act ends with this horrible uh, revelation, and the second act deals with Jose's redemption oh, okay. and his intense love for his brother-in-law. All right. Well, first, Coast TV wants to thank you for this sitting down and and telling this. We're going to look forward for the box and the Romanza, the witness in June. Yes. And uh, it's great for our community to have, you know, you as one of our creative minds. Well, uh, it, I, I think a community without that is, is, is lacking, like, like my father would say, it, it is lacking uh, adobo which is what you spice the meat with. Yes, flavor, yes, yes. You know? Well, St. Augustine has such a rich reservoir of, of, of talent. Uh, the Limelight Theater, uh, where Beth Butler is the executive artistic director, they put on the best shows of any community theater anywhere, certainly uh, any with which I've been associated. And A Classic Theater is another wonderful, wonderful... Uh, I don't want to say troop, but a, a wonderful, wonderful theater company. And uh, Anne Craft is uh, directing and presenting uh, A Classic Theater's newest uh, play. It's going to be May 11th, 12th, and 13th. It's called Love, Loss, and What I Wore. Yes. And that, I'm sure, will be a, a, a laugh a minute. A Classic Theater. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you again, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.